what's going on? Megan Broadwater here coming to you from MeganBroadwater.com where I help network marketers like yourself grow their business online using Instagram. A lot of people have asked me uh, what, how I go about doing my pictures on Instagram, how I get a lot of the um, different layouts with, um, like as you can see right here, um, the different tags and just making your picture very nice and neat and really um, eye-catching. So I use Canva.com. It is a free service. It's web-based. There are no apps for this. And as you can see up here, you can actually, there's a lot of different options, a lot of different layouts that you can choose up at the top. And for Instagram, what I do is I go to social media because it's already a perfect square. So this is great when you upload your picture. You don't have to worry about, you know, resizing um, and making your, your your picture all messed up. Because um, a lot of people, that's one big complaint, is that it has to be a perfect square to post on Instagram. Now you have several options. You can actually take a layout right here and just remove the words and type in your own. Or you can actually start from scratch. You can see that these are different texts um, that you can go ahead and put in. All the ones that say free are free. There are a few um, that you can pay a dollar for. Which I think it's way down here. I'm not going to scroll all the way down. But you can see all the different stickers that you can use um, to really make your picture pop. You can choose a background. Again, there's a lot of free ones. The ones that don't say free are a dollar, so they're not that expensive, and you can actually choose the, um, one of these and pay for it. Or you can go ahead and upload a picture. You can either upload it right from your desktop, or you can choose to go to Facebook, and it will actually link your Facebook account and upload all of your pictures that you've used for Facebook. So for this purpose, let me go ahead and grab a layout um, so I can show you how to do this. Okay, we'll use this one. Now one thing I do want to point out is that you see how there's the grid lines in the back. The background is not free. This background will cost you a dollar. And again, the best thing that you can do um, is you can actually just upload a picture if you want to remove that background and have one of your free designs. Or you can choose a background over here, um, one of the free backgrounds. So all you do is you come over here and you just go ahead and remove the text and replace it with your own. And then if you don't like or you don't need something, um, you can actually just click the delete and it'll take everything out. Now if you want to change the colors, all you do is go ahead and highlight. You can uh, change the font. You can change the size. And you can also change the colors. If you do not like these colors, you can go ahead and come into here and add, you know, make it your whatever color you would like and then you can also soften um, and change the color tone there. Now for branding purposes, what I suggest is to come up with a couple colors that would represent you and keep the color code down here. Paste it to um, a notepad. That way you're consistent throughout all of your pictures and it really gives that branded feel. And then also you can move these around. You know, however you want to go ahead and design it. But this is such a great tool um, for people that aren't very, you know, creative when it comes down to creating a color scheme or, you know, fonts that really go well with each other. Um, I love using the different layouts. It just makes, them, makes everything so much easier. Once you are done with your picture, you can either share it to Twitter or share it to Facebook. But what I do is I come over here and I go download or link. The link, this is for people that would like, you know, if you have somebody on your team that, um, you know, you want to share the, so they can come in here and design their own, um, or if you want to go ahead and give it to them, or you can actually allow them to edit everything so they can make it more personable. I don't use this too much, um, 
but what I do is you can either publish it to image which you actually save it on your desktop and then you can email it to yourself you know to your phone so that way you can go ahead and upload it to Instagram or you can come down here PDF is mainly just for printing um, again I don't use this I usually just go ahead and save it so I really hope that answers a lot of your questions um, about how I go about doing a lot of my pictures again this is completely free unless you choose to grab um, you know different paid pictures like I showed you over here if you wanted to upload a background Let's see if it will let me do this I think I have to delete the there we go okay so you just have to go in there delete the background and then you can drag and drop um, your picture right in the background and I will go ahead and do some advanced features um, in the next couple trainings, so keep an eye out. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions about uh, Instagram, leave me a comment so that way I can be sure to go ahead and do a training video and answer some questions or confusions that you may have. And definitely grab in the in the description um, my free ebook that I'm offering that offers uh, six tips to grow your Instagram account for business and for marketing and to sell more of your products. So definitely grab that and I will see you on the next training.